What's going on everybody? Coach Al here and in the last MVP 07 video we went through all of the menus, modes, and options and whatnot and my original plan was to cover every facet of the game in terms of like do a video on the creation zone, maybe do an exhibition game or this, that, and the other. But I decided I'm just going to cut through all the juggler and let's just go straight in the dynasty mode. That's what people want to see and I think we can get the most important stuff covered in the most efficient way possible if you just go right in the dynasty mode. So I think that's a good idea. Before we get into that, one thing I do want to clear up is somebody mentioned in the comments that you can load up rosters. I thought you didn't have that option to do so. But when you go to manage rosters, you can actually load up rosters. So if you go online, I haven't found it anywhere. You may find a file somewhere if you have like a... A, a, one of those like max drives or whatnot. Uh, or if you know somebody who's played this game and actually has a file, hey, get that file from them and use them. I'm not going to use them in this dynasty, but I just wanted to point out that, yes, you can get real rosters in the game if you could just find a file somewhere. Uh, do you want to exit? Yes, I'm going to exit. Okay, let's just get right in the dynasty mode. I had a suggestion to pick a bad team and just build them up and I'm all for that. So that's what I'm going to do. I put that on Instagram a couple days ago. When in doubt, rebuild a team. So it's always fun to take a bad team and see how good you can do with them. Now the cool thing with college baseball is you could be in a bad conference and really make an impact on the baseball scene. So just because you're like in a, in a smaller conference doesn't mean you can't win the whole thing. I think it's possible in this game that you could go all the way even with a smaller school. So that's what we're going to try to do. I want to stick with the sophomore difficult. That's like the basic. That and I'm still kind of new to this game, so I don't mind leaving it there. Instant blade rules, suspension, injuries. We're going to leave all that on. Rained out games on. Energy level effect. We'll turn that on. Okay, I've already picked my team. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a, a smaller conference. But I'm going to pick a team that's kind of close to where I live. And I want to pick a really bad team and... Let's go to the Sun Belt Conference, and I want to go with Western Kentucky. I have an aunt and uncle and some cousins that live over near uh, Western Kentucky. They live in Glasgow, so I've been to this campus before. So I'm familiar with Western Kentucky. It's a few hours from my house. So I think this is a perfect fit. They're terrible, as you can see. Their best thing they got going is their bat, and they got a little bit of speed, but not much else. So, and what's cool about uh, this game is they rank everybody from first to dead last. So, technically, West Kentucky is the 129th team in the country, which I think is pretty funny. A half a star prestige. So, we'll see if we can try to get them up, get them up to a six star maybe down the road. Okay. Let's just go advance. Now, let's go straight to the schedule. If you notice here, there are... 2, 5, 6, 9, 12, 15. There are going to be 40 to 50 plus games that we're going to play. We're going to play every single one of them. Now, I've played enough of this already to know that one nine inning game lasts like 30 minutes. That's not too bad. So, on normal videos, I'm going to try to do two games per video. Because recruiting doesn't take all that long to do. And we'll get into recruiting here in a little bit. So on most videos, we're going to try to get through two uh, two games. Should be a little over an hour each. Today, I'll probably just do one video because we got to do a lot of a lot of little bitty stuff, pre-game, pre-season type things we need to take care of first. But going forward, I think that'll speed up the season a little bit quicker. We'll see how all that goes. But yes, I am doing a nine-inning schedule. Okay, now you see at the very top right says email. We can hit that. We'll go to R2. You get random emails from whoever, whatever. First off, it's from the, our athletic director. It says, welcome to the Hilltoppers. I'm your athletic director. Think of me as your eyes and ears for just about everything that happens around here. Good luck on your road to Omaha. Sincerely, your AD. He's got another one. Coach, in addition to your team's performance on the field, it is your responsibility to prepare for next season by recruiting the best players available. Be sure to check out the depth chart under team management to see where your needs lie. Press the hot leak button, which is X down below, to view the recruiting menu and spend the recruiting points wisely. 
you can click on that or you could just go back to your main menu right here and just go to recruiting. It's the same thing. Okay, now this is kind of interesting the way this works. I played a little bit with it. Now, I'm not very good at recruiting. I don't know how it works. I'm sure there's a method to it. But you see we got 150 points to recruit with each week, at least starting out. The points carry over, so you do not have to use all of them each week. You got some options. You go to the top 100, all other prospects, interested, and targeted. Targeted prospects is when you actually scout, recruit, or do something with the prospect. He automatically goes to your targeted prospects list. So let's go to Baseball All-America Top 100. Now you notice on the far left, it's got not 1 through 100. It's like 12, 13, 47, 67. The reason why that is, is it automatically filters the players that you can't get. If you look at the very bottom, it's square. If you hit Filter, there are the Top 100. Legit. If you click on this, the top player in the country, apparently a JUCO kid, Chris, I'm not even going to say his last name, you look at the very bottom, it says X needs five prestige. So if we were a five prestige program, we would be able to go after this guy. So this guy's pretty much tells us, you're not good enough for me. I'm not going to waste my time. So the cool thing is this game kind of filters that for you, which I like. So you can just get right down to the nitty gritty. Technically, this center we can go after. I think that's interesting. I don't think we have a chance with them. I'm not really sure. So... Like, when you click on a recruit, like you want to recruit, you got all of these options to choose from. Again, I don't know what the method of any of this is. If anybody out there has played this game a lot, has any recruiting tips, please share it with all of us. That would be great. Okay, so what I'm thinking is, first, let's go to our depth chart. That's what matters most. We need to field needs. The most you can have on a team is 25. First, let's look at the seniors and kind of where we're needing help there. So a center field... We got a senior, we just got one guy, and we got a backup outfielder who's a 66. So we need one outfielder. I'm okay at strong, uh, strong safety. I'm, <laughs> it's football, I'll tell you. We're okay at shortstop. We're okay at second base. We need a third baseman, so an outfield and third base. We need help at starting pitcher, obviously. We got no good pitchers whatsoever, both in the bullpen and in the starting lineup. So... Bullpen looks terrible, so I'd like to probably get a couple good pitchers. We're okay at first base, and i like to get a center. Now, total number of seniors, I see one, two, three, four, and five. I'd love to get five guys. I'd love to get a center, an outfielder, third baseman, a couple pitchers, and a center. A catcher, sorry, catcher, catcher. I've done that in the last video. So let's see if we could do that. Now, again, I don't know where's a good place to start. Let's... Uh, like here's this starting pitcher. Do we have a chance? I want to recruit local. Like here's this kid from Maine. I have. It doesn't even. What's weird with this is you go back. No, you don't. None of these guys have any interest on you whatsoever. I mean, from the worst player to the last, or to the best player to the last. You go to like all other prospects. You go down to the very bottom, and I don't know how many players there are. There are. 300 or something, 400 maybe. You go to the very bottom. We're going to overall the 50s, which is not what we need. We're not going to go after any of these guys. We may have to. I don't know. We'll see. 400. There's 400 players you can recruit from every single year. Every single one of them has zero interest. I guess you don't know the interest until you start showing them some love. That's the one thing I kind of don't like is where do you start? I mean, you don't know if any of these guys even like you to begin with or not. So... What we could do is go back to baseball. I mean, are, is it worth going to the top 100 where we're at? I'm guessing it probably isn't. So let's just go to all other. This is the 101 through 400. Let's start off with starting pitchers. Now, we could just go down the line here. And once you go to a profile, you can just hit up or down, and it just goes through all the players, which is really nice. I think it's funny. This guy's a starting pitcher, and he can play outfield, which is Sounds like a pretty good ball player to me. What I'm thinking is we need to go after guys who are fairly local. I, I don't know if that has any effect in this game. We'll find out. I'm just going through some of their vitals and whatnot here. Like, here's a kid out of Ohio. Here's a kid out of Tennessee. He's a 66 overall. He's a lefty. Excellent. I mean, we can go after him. 6'3", 213. Let's recruit him. And... Maybe it's best to 
send out a, a bunch of let's do phone calls. I don't again. I don't know. Uh, we could do several phone calls from now for some of these guys. Let's keep on going. Let's do a few of them. We may here's a Kentucky kid, a 56 overall. Now it's getting pretty bad. I don't know if I need to go that route. Let's just email him just in case. He'll be a back burner type of player. Okay, that's two pitch starting pitchers we've got on the targeted list. And you can go back and look right here. Boom, they're already there, which is pretty nice. Let's go back to all of the prospects. Let's go to outfield, or let's go to catcher. Let's just start at the very top. And let's try to do somewhat local, I guess. Like, here's a kid out of Ohio. 62 overall. I mean, that's not all that great. We can scout him at least. Uh, we can we can do a phone call. Anything below 60, I'm guessing it's probably not worth it. Probably, I don't, we, we'd love to get a whole lot better, but I just at our level, I just don't know if we can. Okay. And let's just go back. Let's do here. And that's where we're getting to the 50s. I'm going to stop there. One thing I may do is, uh, oh, we'll go to the top 100 here in a minute. We may add those back, add a couple more. Third baseman, Texas, Louisiana, Ohio. Again, I, I may have to recruit some Ohio kids. That's what Kentucky does a lot in football. At least they recruit Ohio, which you can't blame. Here's a kid out of Kentucky, 60 overall, outfielder and third baseman. He may be perfect for our play, you know, for our uh, team. So let's do a phone call for this cat. Go there. And now we're getting to the 50s. So, what else did we say? We we looked at catcher. We need we went after a, th a third baseman, probably another pitcher. If I had to guess, we may need maybe another outfield. Outfield. That's what we need to get. So you go left, center, and right. Okay. We definitely need a center fielder. So let's go here. Ooh. Okay. This is good. 67. Kid out of Kentucky, 5'11", 196, good attitude, academics, all around. We'll definitely go after this cat. Let's just do a phone call for now, just get him on our target list. Arkansas, we may try him. And it's getting to, to 60. So let's try this kid from Arkansas. 66 for Arkansas. We can try it and say, let's do a phone call for him. And we can go back to our targeted list. And we got six guys right there. We can probably add, let's see, one center, a couple outfielders, two starting pitchers, a third baseman. We can go back here and take a chance on one of these guys. Like one of, the, look at a couple of these catchers. Are any of them close? Kid out of Washington, kid out of Jersey, Mississippi, and he's a JUCO kid, which I'm not against JUCOs in this game. At this point, I don't know if we need to be uh, hurting too much with JUCOs. I mean, we should try to get anybody we can. Let's just go ahead and take a chance on this catcher. Let's do a phone call. And that gives us 20 points left in the week. So we'll just say we're done for now. And let's go back to the targeted list. And I think that's okay for now. Let's just stick with that. And go into the next week, we'll keep fooling around. And maybe the interest bar will go up on some of these guys. So we'll just see what happens. I don't know. Okay. That's it for recruiting. Let's go to team management. Let's just look at our roster a little bit. We've looked at the depth chart. Our pitching rotation... I like the little smiley faces. You see how they change a little bit. I need to go, I guess, depth chart. It's Dorn, Conley, and Feldkamp are our main starting pitchers. Dorn, Conley, and Feldkamp. So it does that automatically. I don't know if I had to manually do it myself. I guess you can. Like batting order, I don't know what's best, to be honest. Does it say power, contacts? I'm okay with 
the heart of the lineup, 74, 73, 75. The rest of them, I don't mind him being eighth. I like to have at least a little bit of a bat on the back end. I'm okay with all that. I wish it would show your overall, though, and it doesn't. So if you go back to the depth chart, I didn't even look at this. Is the depth chart at least halfway decent? It is. So it keeps it in pretty good order. We're not going to worry about creating anything. Defensive linemen, optimized rosters. To, I'm not going to let them do that. Positional ranking. I guess that lets you fool with the depth chart, maybe? I don't know. That's kind of weird. Oh, just primary. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I probably never have to fool with that. All right, let's go to team goals. We have four goals. Now, this relates to the stuff you saw before. So if you let's quickly go back to recruiting, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. If you go to top 100 and you go to filter, all these guys in gray where we can't get, let's click on one, and it says five prestige. All right, here's a good example. Needs fielding coach number five. Apparently, we only have something like four and below. Here's another one, five prestige. Co pitching coach five. Five prestige. Pitching co fielding coach five. So that relates to, if we go back to team management, go to the goals. Let's see what it says right here. It says complete to access level one pitching coaches in the offseason. So one pitcher gets eight wins and we'll be able to move up a level in pitching. I guess that's what that means. Go to the next one. One player, third team, all conference, complete the excess level one conditioning coaches in the offseason. So these are very important. This opens up the recruiting floodgates for us if we complete these. 25 10 win season. That would be nice. Level one fielding coaching. That's a whole lot of wins just to get to level one. So right now, I guess we're at level zero for all of these. Level one hitting, we need 50 career home runs. I guess that's a collective team. I would think. But anyway, these are very important. I like these. They give you some goals, and they actually matter. Like, they affect recruiting in a way. So that's pretty cool. Okay, I think we're done with the rest of this. Let's go to options, and if you go to dynasty options, oh, yeah, you don't have to look at that. We've already changed that. I think gameplay options. Again, I got out nine innings. Uh, yes, yeah, so let's look at one thing first before we save it. Go to gameplay options. For batting mode, I'm doing zone. You could do analog, but I I like zone a little bit better. It's a little bit easier. That's a, again, I'm not the best player in the world. Pitching mode, you could do analog or classic. I've been told by several people to stay away from analog. It's really hard, and you can't maximize your pitches, apparently. So I'm going to do classic. I like it pretty well. Throw mode is classic. That means you just press the button to hit to throw to a certain base. And the rest of that stuff, we're not going to go through. There's a ton of them here. But uh, make sure I've done this correct. Uh, batting mode, yes, zone, classic, classic. Okay. Let's just save the dynasty really quick, and we'll play our first game. I'm curious to see how long this takes to save. <laughs> if you remember the options file, it took forever to save. So I'm super excited about this. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Again, it's going to be like 50 games, so hopefully this won't take us too long. I'm going to try to do a video of this every other day, and then the other days I'll try to do 06. It's just going to take a while. I don't know what else to do. And I really don't want to do videos that are longer than an hour. I mean, I think it gets to a point where maybe get too long. So the goal is to try to squeeze in two games at a time. But the day since we've already went through so much pre-season stuff, we're going to go straight into just the first game, and that's it. So we are taking on Houston. They are 24th in the country. This is going to be really hard. Now, do we have an extra email? No, we don't. Okay, keep telling me to click on that. So let's click on that, and let's just play coach. Yes. I don't want to. No, we're going to play it. Yeah. Who's going to be my starter? It should be Dorn. We want Dorn to be our starter. And we've already settled on the lineup, so I think we're good there. Let's just go done. That's cool. You could coach or you could sim it. So if you really want to get this 
into the uh, coaching side of things is pretty cool. But I like to play the game. It's pretty fun. Okay, yes, we definitely want to play us. I don't know why it's giving me that option. It's weird. It lets us select the time of day and whatnot. That's... Don't they have... I guess Western Kentucky doesn't have their own field? Is this... Uh, forgive me if I don't know what's going on here, but... That's Georgia Tech. I don't know why would, it should go to our default. I mean, this might take forever. I guess we're gonna go to exhibition field. That's weird. I'm sorry. I don't. I, unless I missed something, you think it would go to? Maybe this is a. Welcome to all you baseball fans. Know. This interconference matchup features the Houston Cougars and the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. I'll change the volume here in a minute. I thought I saved it earlier. I guess I didn't. The Cougars are currently. Welcome to the ball game, everybody. This is Mike Patrick along with Kyle Peterson. We can watch all this Sunshine stuff. It don't take long. On a college campus, there's not a better spot for baseball. I like our uniforms. The junior is going to be starting. He certainly is, Mike. He's got a four seamer, a circle change, a big slurve, a fork ball, and a two seam fastball. I like Houston. It looks like the Atlanta Braves. Doctor like Jersey's pretty sweet. The Jose Olvi. He is awesome. Okay, one thing I want to look at is go to game options. We're going to audio. And I thought, I, well, we're going to put these down just so you can hear me. Okay. Oh, man, he's a terrible pitcher. Let's try. And we're now underway. On the ground to the Get second baseman. Uh, that's a good first, start. Again, these games will go by pretty quick. Should take about 30 minutes. Unless something crazy happens. See how the home team's defense lines up. The There's the defense. The the Let's see. We're going to try to paint the corner. Exactly Very late. So, okay, now I'm starting to feel why a bad player, if you, a bad pitcher, if you don't get this correct. Nobody on base and one That's a little gone. bit better. There you going? Very well. That was easy. Oh, great play. Woo! Just enough. Number five is in right field. Look at that lineup. Woo! They got some bats. Wow, look at that. This guy can really hit it. He's the real deal. Let's go. Let's do a fastball. Not a ball. Again, you hold down the button, then you release it. You hold down the button at the bottom of the meter, then you hit it again to try to Release and hit it. That's, if you're not spot on, it's going to be off big time. But I like this a whole lot better than analog. This makes more sense to me. Let's go down here. That's a much better play. Yeah, good pitch. He still got the count. Let's do another slurve. Let's go down here. Toward short. On to first. It's there we a go. One, two, three inning. All right, that's a good top half of the inning. Again, this goes back pretty quick. The I like. I think the, the graphics today. actually are a lot better than what I expected. He's got a four seamer, a change up. I thought the innings, or the innings. I mean, yeah, the menus look really terrible. All right, he's a Number contact guy, so we're gonna go with the contact here. That's a, a good hit off the gate. The Out of the gate. Classic batting is a little bit easier for me than the analog. I just I struggled with it a little bit. It's pretty. It's not bad, but all right, uh, we'll do contact again. Oh, double play. Eh, not what we wanted. Now, one thing you're going to one thing you're going to see for me is I'm going to swing a lot. <laughs> oh wow, he must have tagged me. When he caught the ball. This ah. inning is over. After one, it's still scoreless. Okay. 
there we get a, a hit off. And you can hit X to bypass a lot of this stuff, but it, it goes by pretty quickly. Number Jason Savage, third baseman. Let's go down. Wow, his margin of error is really small. So what I may need to do is probably go back to my recruiting. Hit to the left side. And the throw across the really area. emphasize pitching. We need really good pitchers, and that's my weakness right now by far. Ah, great pitch. That was good timing. I want to paint the corners, keep it away. Put in the blue spots. That's what all I know. Oh, he took that one. Another slurve. May want to give him a fastball here. Let's go back to that same corner. Oh, way late. Yeah. This one misses low. One, two count. Again, I like the graphics. They came out a whole lot better than the menus. Let's try a slur from back here. Oh! That one for a ball two, two, two. two. Let's go up to the very top this time. Wow, his margin of error. When he's off, man, he's way off. Count three, two. We need to try to keep this basic. Three balls, two strikes. Oh, nice strike. You're out of there. So I guess West Kentucky doesn't have their own stadium. I'm surprised they gave me the option. That's so weird. I don't know what that means. Somebody can maybe answer that for me. Why they gave me the option to pick a stadium. Terrible. That's a terrible. Uh, we got lucky there. Very lucky. We'll take it. All right. Pretty good start. All right, we got a big-time hitter here. We can try to go for a power hit. That, foul that was hot. Now, when it's way out of the strike zone, it'll show an X right out of the gate as soon as he pitches it. So, I've done a little bit better by noticing that. Oh. Look how close this one was. I guess I was way early on it. Let's just do contact for now. Just try to get something out of it. That foul mm. caught the Again, you're going to see me swing a lot. <laughs> Unless it shows a blatant X, I'm probably going to swing at it. Probably a bad idea, but that's okay. A ground ball yeah, at least I made a hit. Oh, didn't get on base, but he didn't strike me out. Now, this guy's definitely a power hitter. So, let's go for a power hit. One out here in the bottom of the second. Oh. Mm. I felt I was close on that one. Nope, maybe I was way early. Let's try it again. Toward left. Ah. To Get on base! Nope, not even close. He's slow. All right, now we're getting to pretty bad hitters, so we'll just go with contact. Hit on the ah. ground toward the second baseman. Again, I pitching it or batting is not my strong suit. I need really good hitters in order to make it work, but I have low expectations since my players aren't all that good. So, and I'm new. I'm just getting used to it. But what I've played so far, I really like. That's a good hit. Yeah, good pitch. What's my stamina? Somebody needs to give me some tips on stamina. When you need to start. See, he's already at eighty percent stamina. I don't know if you got to start thinking about putting in a reliever when it gets down to the 70s or. Good play. Nice. What a play. That's a gold glove there. Nice. Sweet. This guy's a pretty good contact hitter. Michael Cueto. Let's go with a four seam. Perfect. Nice. 94 mile an hour. We'll take it. Timing was good. Ooh, right on it again. Going to that same spot. I'm going to go up a little bit more to the outside. 
And we can try a slurve. Ground into the right side. Tosses it over the pitcher cover. All right. What was that two outs? Daniel Cruder. Uh oh. Oh, what a catch. What a catch. Now, I got the fielding on assisted, and I'm okay with that. I mean, they didn't. Still scoreless. Let's just do a contact hit. Blatant X. That means it's going to be outside the strike zone, so I'm going to leave it alone. On a 1 0 count. There's a fly ball. Ah. Makes the catch for the it was good down. contact, but definitely pulled it. Number two we got a power up. hitter. This is my guy in the, what, eighth in the lineup. Ah. Shouldn't have took it that one. I, I'll be. <laughs> I swear, batting, you just got to get used to it. This has always been a weakness of mine of baseball games. Let's just do contact. There we go. Oh, it's a good catch. All right, our catcher is terrible. He's got a lot of good hot zones, but he just probably can't hit in general. There we go. Ball. It's a good look. Two gone. Oh. One, two, three, and the inning is over. After three, All right. still scoreless. We're a third of the way through. Number seven is down. So, 76 stamina. I'm, uh, we'll wait, I guess. I don't know. Once it gets in the seven, I probably need to get somebody in the bullpen. Get somebody warmed up. Let's go back to the slurve. Ah, that get that in. Very Maybe it's time to put somebody in the line, in the bullpen. Let's go to roster options. Let's go to warm up pitchers. Middle relievers. We'll do him. We'll just do one warm up. Apparently, their stamina goes down if you keep them in the bullpen too long. I could be wrong on that one, but let's get Wooten in. He's a middle reliever, so. Let's try a slurve. I, I pressed the button wrong. <laughs> I may just have to walk this cat. Let's go up here. There we go. A little bit better. Right where it needs to be. All right, we'll try a slurve. Got a full count. I'm going to stick to the outside again. We're going to go down. Let's go here. Ah! Walk him. It's too late on it. Jason Weaver. Good hitter. I think it's top of the lineup again. Let's go. He's starting to feel it. You can tell what's his stamina. It's got to be in the 60s. Let's get 69. Let's see what he can do. I'm just going to get to the first. Nope, he ain't going to get it. Yeah. We'll just go ahead and get the first. I could have got to the second baseman, I guess. I don't know. It would have been tough. I think the other guy... Yeah, I think that was the right decision. Four, Look at that 97 seven. power. Woo! Please do not hit this in the cornfields. No! I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't mean to go to second. That's okay. All right, we got two outs, though. We'll do a slurve. Uh oh! Oh, good deal. Whoo! We got out of the inning. 
So when we get back to pitching, we'll look at our guy who's warming up, and he should be ready to go. We're taking a starter out. I think he's done perfect job so far. All right, Henry, he's a contact guy, so we're going to do a contact hit if we can. A ground ball headed for the hole. He's out. Another contact guy. We'll just stick with Vance. Ro Ron Trez. A lot of blue. Oh, how close was I? Close. Ball. It was a good look. Again, I like our uniforms. They're nice and simple. The Hilltoppers. Going to build them up. Ball. I wish it would show that guy's stamina, but it doesn't. Maybe that's an option somewhere, but... Nice. Nice. Go. Second base, son. Second base. Great hit. Nate Sedania. We'll just do another contact hit. Ah, stay on second. The throw across to first. That's in time for the out. The sophomore will be up next. Uh, we'll do a power hit. Nah, yeah, let's do a power. Ooh. Go! 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 No! Ah. Oh my gosh. That was a good try. Forgive me, I had to send out a text. Dad was calling. Okay. Okay, he... Let's switch out our pitcher. We can go to roster options, and we can go to view your bullpen. This guy is ready to go. His stamina is okay. So let's go back. Let's go substitution. I mean, I'd love to... I wonder what happens if we go... Go to roster options, go to pitching defense. Let's go to... Visit the man. I don't know if that positive. Okay, let's let's leave him in there. Let's see what happens. That boosted him up a little bit. Sometimes it's negative. Sometimes it's positive. But I want to see if he can at least get over half the the game, five innings. Ah, terrible. Another slurve. Timing was terrible on that one. Well, let's just do the fastball here. Ooh. Well, with a fastball. I'm afraid to do something over the middle. Let's just do that. Good fastball for a call. You notice the lower the stamina, the less the window is to get it right. Get it, get it, get it. It's a oh. All right, let's see if he could just survive the inning. Looks like we're hitting back to the heart of the lineup. Let's go up here. I don't want to hit this guy in the head, but I may do it. Hmm. Way off. And I was close to the yellow mark, too. There we go. I'm afraid to go down the very bottom, so I'm going to stay up top, left. late. Yeah, it's way off. If you're not within the yellow area, he's really going to throw it off. For the bad pitchers, at least. Ah, come on. He's starting to feel it. I'm afraid to go down here. Got a piece of that Ooh. back to the screen. So, that is what? A full count? 3-2. Oh, he took it. <laughs> Woo! 
Uh, Robbie Fraser. Feaser. My bad. Feaser. He's a power hitter. Perfect. Nice. It looks like he's only got two average pitches. It's the slurve and it's the four-seamer. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, four-seamer. His stamina's going down. Big time. Ooh, he took it, though. I'm much more comfortable pitching the batting right now. That's for sure. Get it, get it, get it. Throw to first. All right, true. He survived it, so I'm going to put in our middle reliever in the next inning. All right, we got a power hitter. Let's go after a power hitter if we can. Henderson. Ah, dang it. That was way high, too. All right, this guy's not good at anything, so let's just try to get a, a base hit. There we go. A contact hit. Another guy who can't hit, so we'll just try to get him in the field and play. Ah, I got to stay back. It was way high. Again, that's I'm just not very good at that. It's really quick. It's just going to take a lot of at-bats to get the hang of it. Ooh. I felt like I was close. No, I was way behind. <laughs> Let's just go for the full shebang since there's already two outs. Ah, he's late on it again. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, my gosh. West Terrible. Kentucky okay. A man on first All right, sixth inning. Of the sixth. It's still scoreless. Scoreboard don't look all that good for either team, but we're tied. That's all that matters, I guess. Okay, now let's put in our new pitcher. Let's go to roster options. Let's go to pitching and defense. Substitution. We're going to take out Dorn. We're going to put in Wooten. Yes, we want Wooten to be our DH. The Hilltoppers are making a substitution. Number four. I wish you could change your coach and make him look different, but that's not a big deal. This spot of the ball game, all you're trying to do is keep your team in it. But it won't get upset. You've done well. It won't let you do that until you get back on the field pitching. Otherwise, I would have done it earlier. Oh, he's a sider, sidearm guy. Nice. Oh, good catch. He's a sidearm pitcher. That's cool. He looks like he's got a decent curve. Way low. I was way late on that one. I like the feel of the game in general, though. It just, it's just calm. It's quick. Good play. Yeah. Uh-oh. That's good. The timing was perfect, but he made good contact. All right, one of their better hitters. Let's go. Good play. There we go. Two outs. No, that's three outs. All right. Western Kentucky. So far, we're doing a pretty good job against them. Casey Arestovich. He can't hit. That's what. Yeah, he's our center. Probably our worst player on the team, or at least in the starting lineup. Right through the legs. Spoke too soon. Where'd he go, catcher? I'm going to say center eight million times before I could finally say catcher. Can't help it. Played so much football. Ah, dang it. That was way low. Nice. Oh. Eh. That one will go down as the fielder's choice. Now that nice little wrong, re gold he'll gold say what a replay here. It's a good play. Almost got the second. The senior is on thanks to the fielder's choice, and there's All right, another contact guy. A lot of blue on the screen though. One on one out. <laughs> How close was I? Oh.
Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Dang it. Oh, wow, that was a good play. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, he stayed a second. I thought he was going to third. Number eight is all right, we got a couple players on hit base. Ah, dang it, Al. Come on. I'd rather do a contact hit. Nice. Go, go, go. First run of the game, yes. There's the first run of the game. This ball hammered right back up the middle and on one of the... That hit him in the face. Get out of the way. Number eight is song with an RBI. I'm going to do a power hit here. Ah, ah. Again, I'm going to be swinging a lot of stuff tonight. <laughs> going forward. That, ooh, that... He held up ooh. <laughs> You just tap the button to do that. Rounded to the left ah. side of the infield. Makes the diving stop. The throws Go! Oh, wow. He wasn't there. Oh, wow. Big time error. Go! Oh, he's going to stay put. Error given on the play. Number eight. All right, Brody Henderson. Let's go, stud. Knock this one out. Get down. Oh, my gosh. All right. It's a great inning. I think their pitcher's tired. I figured they're going to change him eventually. I like the replays in here in this game. It's pretty nice. Again, I could skip through a lot of that stuff, but I kind of like the way everything is. All right, here's our relief pitcher. And I forgot how to bunt. Eh. I need to check that in the instruction manual. Over to first. Makes the he made contact at least. Time. Western Kentucky scores two and strand. Number eight. I'm surprised there. Houston's not getting hits. I know it's because of the difficulty or, or what. I don't know. It's going to be a lot of games for I to figure out what's the right difficulty for me. But that's ah, a terrible pitch. We'll figure all that out. I played several exhibition games on sophomore, and I was getting beat on quite a few of them, so I'm like, okay, this is where I need to be. Another bad pitch. Yeah. Breaking ball is low. Either I'm really late on them or what? Let's go here. There we go. Fastball for a I love he's a side armor. That big Randy Johnson out there. Oh, no, where? Ooh. I, yeah, error. I threw it way too hard. That's what happens when you throw it hard. <laughs> he tried to knock his head off. Well, that was a bad ploy. Hopefully that doesn't bite us in the butt. My stamina is okay. Eh. Okay, now I know. That's the first time that's ever happened to him before, so now I know what to do. Okay. I don't know what to expect there. Okay. That should be an out. There we go. Is that two outs? One out. That's just one out. Runner at second. One out. There's a routine fly ball. He should be able to get to this. Two gone. To third. Put that at the third base just in case. All right, two outs. Let's retire the side if we can't. Oh, good hit. Oh, good hit, though. It's a shallow left. And the runner went right through the stop sign. Oh. And it will score a run. They got to run in. Right there in a tough spot. It's a big now their bats are really starting to swing. So what inning are we in? Are we in the seventh? Can we get a... We're in the top of the seventh. Let's go to roster. Let's go to warm-up pitchers. And let's put in a closer. Is that late? Is that is that what that means, late pitcher? 
in you know, is middle reliever. Isn't that what that means? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Let's put in a couple guys because I, I honestly just don't know. I don't know what MRP the LRP is. We'll try that though. Let's go to resume. Get just in case because this guy ain't gonna make it to the ninth inning. High fly ball to right. no. Gotta have the inning. Oh gosh, they got one run in though. There are two runs. No, they got one run. All right, close game. We're up one. Last inning was excellent. Let's try to repeat it. Let's just do a contact hit if we can. Good hit. Eh, good timing and everything right there. Just get on base is what we need right now. I haven't tried stealing bases yet. One thing I can look, we can go here, go to rosters. No, it's not what I want. I'm going to go. Hey, it's not going to let me do it. I'll, I'll check that outside of the game. We got a power hitter. Let's, oh. He's a little bit better for power hitter, so we'll go for that. Super close. Got a ball. Ha, 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 ha. Come on, Al. Let's just do a contact hit now. There's a fly ball. Oh, come back. Oh, oh wow, it did come down. I'll be. That was a good hit. I'm glad I switched to contact. All right, here's our catcher. He, done a, he had a good hit last time. Let's see if he'll repeat it. Dang it. Nice. It was a bad throw. We'll take it. Look at this. Oh. All right. Contact hit. Let's get another runner out there. And this guy's a contact hitter, Donnie Henry. Let's go, Donnie. Ah. Dang it. That's in time for the out. Dang it. Great play by Houston. That's a great Double play. play and it gets him out of the inning. That's tonight. So Ugh, he must have tagged me when he caught it. Western Kentucky leaves a man on third, and we're headed to the top of the eighth. It's top of the eighth. Number five is... He's a 69%. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's just see. I may have to put in the other guy here soon. I may do this. We'll just see what happens here. Strike. We can try. He only has a decent curve. We can try four seamer. That foul ball caught there we the go. catcher. Okay. Let's try to do it again. Let's go back down here. Oh, good hit. Good catch though. That's one out. And makes the play. Number 29 is 0 for 2 today. Good. He, yeah. Good pitch. Ball for a Just felt right as soon as I let it go. Let's get back down. Here. No! The runner is going to try for two. Number 29. I hit the button too light. Cougar substitute. Okay. Ooh, it's just... That's a good pitch. Can he survive the inning? We're going to we're going to try. This may be a dumb idea, but we'll try it. Better looking to bunt. Ah. Missed with a fastball there. Let's go. Let's see what happens. Let's visit the mound. On his way out to the mound. He needs Negative. To down. His location has been inconsistent. Oh, that ain't good. He's at 56. Let's just go ahead and put in the other guy. 
My bullpen. I got both guys out there. Let's put in. Oh gosh, let's just put in Embrace. We'll do that. The Hilltoppers are making a substitution. I think it's a good idea when you get him out there. I mean, we can't give up a hit right here. Manager, probably time for a fresh arm. Let's just go here. A ground ball headed for the hole. That's another out. We need one more. He's at third. Number seven is digging. And they got a power hitter coming up. There's a Gone. Way back. Wow. Oh! <laughs> leaves a man on third. Survive the inning. They are substituting somebody in. All right. Let's do a contact hit. Ah. Ah, good, good play by the pitcher. Throw to first and the out. All right, who's up next? We'll just do another contact hit. He's a little bit better. Pa right, let's try power. Go! 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 Big play! Keep going! He's going to go to third. He's going to stop. No, he's going to stop. Big hit. Let's go. All right. Let's go another contact or power hit if we can. Oh, it's high. Dang it. That was a good try. Almost got it out. Definitely a power hitter. Let's go, Big Brody. <laughs> Way late on that one. Let's go, Brody. Ah, dang it. Get down, get down, get down, get down. Get down. Nope, he's going to get it. Oh, okay. This is for all the marbles. Not really, but it's top of the knife. Number eight is now open. Good pitch. Let's do the top left corner now. Ah, ball. One and one. Yeah, let's do the center left here. There we go. He's got a good fastball. The rest of it's pretty much garbage, as you can see here. So we'll keep throwing fastballs. That's what he's good at. Nice. You're out of there, son. Go take a seat. Big time hitter. The best hitter by far. Ooh. Way off. Fastball is low. If we can get past this guy, I think we have a chance. That foul the catcher. We'll take it. Again, he's got strength everywhere. I mean, it's practically all red. One and one. No. My goodness. What do you do? I should have walked him. <laughs> I should have walked him. Well, he gets enough <sighs> oh, my gosh. That's the first home 417 the feet. Nope. He's still got plenty of good stamina, so we'll just stick Nobody with him. On base and one gone. Hit on ah, the another hit. Gets through, and the batter has a single. He's on with a single. This ain't looking good, fellas. Number 27 is digging in. The Cougars are making a substitution. They're making another substitution, getting one of their speedsters in. a pinch runner. Great move by the head coach. A little speed on the base pass is exactly what the doctor ordered. 
checking throw. I tried. <laughs> First time I've ever tried that before. It was close. He'll square to sacrifice. Ah. That was way low. I'll try it again. Let's go down here. Ah, Fast come on. We can try that corner again. Well, he is. No, let's go down here. Pushes it down first base. The second. Dang it. I completely goofed up on that one. The Dang it, I'm stupid. I should have just went the first. The ah. Not paying attention. Fastball in there. This ain't looking good. We got to get some guys out, and I got to play smarter. Gosh, what do you do? I can't get the... Yeah, I can't get the home. There's no way to do it. Yeah. I had no chance of getting too many ways, so it didn't make a difference. Oh, my gosh. We got to get out of the inning. A terrible pitch. Ball down low with the fastball. Right here. A ground ball. Dang it. Come on, fellas. That one had eyes. Comes up with it and throws. That's Base is loaded. What do you do? I mean. Great job of hitting the ball where it's pitched. Ground ball. Oh, gosh. Like he has no pitch other than a fastball. Oh, come on. His stamina is still good. It's got the you got to be kidding. A grand slam. I mean, now they're starting to hit. Dolly, well, there goes the game. <laughs> I'll be. He pushed it, too. Seven to two, just like that. Six hits in the ninth inning. I'll be. Gosh, now I'm just kind of losing my mind now. I shouldn't get too upset. They're really good and we're terrible, but still. Hit the shallow right and the out. I still just two outs. Now they got another big hitter coming up. Now they're gone. What do you do? I don't know what to do about that. Foul ball. Kylie. Another hit. It just... All of a sudden, they're just... Everything's going for them. Uh, I don't know what to do. Oh, you get it. What's going on? It's like everybody's just falling apart. Ninth inning. And they got their best player coming up. That's great. Gosh. This one's low. What a disaster. I'm sorry, I don't know what to do. Here's the throw. The runner ignored the sign at third. The senior is on with a single. And uh, there's two out. Gosh. I'm sorry. It just runners at first and third. Everything's gone to pot. I can't get out of the inning. One more chance and I'm gonna have to put in the other guy. Another terrible. What in the world? What's going on? What a nightmare. What is going on? I'm putting in the other guy. I got. I got no choice. I don't know what to do. A run scores. The junior will get a chance. Is he? Is the other guy still warming up? I don't know.
I, ha I don't know what else to do. I mean, just... Ground ball to the left side. Oh, what's going on? You gotta be kidding! Oh my gosh, I'm stupid. Why did I go to third? Just a meltdown. I'm sorry, fellas. It just so disappointing. Another base hit. Oh, we just got finally. Thank the Lord, it's over. Wow, they had like 45 hits in one inning. I don't, I'm, I don't know. He hits a grounder to the third base. He's still in the He ain't going to get there. He's out of there. <sighs> Number 10 is one for three today with a single. Swung Let's just get this game over with. <laughs> Let's get out of here. We got another game against these guys, too. Oh, man. Just crazy. All of a sudden, they just started hitting everything. Right towards a player, of course. On to first. Now two outs. Number two is up next. Foul tip. Foul. I went to the inside. Last play, pretty much. One and one. Swap I'll be. On the hands. It's not, I don't think I'm getting tired. I just, <laughs> just everything's going to pot this last inning. Like without fail. That's a good way to end it. All right, that was terrible. I'm sorry. That was. I would have played better, game. but I, just, I don't know what to do about that. It just everything was great for eight the innings. Final score, the but then something happened. Ninth inning, they had look how many runs they had in the eighth uh, in the eighth inning. Eight hits. What do you do about that? Eight runs. I'm sorry. They had eight runs. Okay, come on back. We'll take on Houston, and we may try to get the second or the first game of the ECU series. I I'll try to squeeze in two games. We'll just see what happens. So come on back. We'll take on the Cougars again, and I'll talk to you later.